nice and crispy mm -hmm. with good chicken breast meat inside. Got the katsu sauce. Yummy! Today I'm gonna make a chicken katsu. Most time other people is uh, use uh, pork, but it's this time I'm gonna use uh, chicken. So I ready for it's a four piece of uh, chicken breast and black pepper, sea salt and panko three cups and then uh, flour and three eggs and oil and little bit water. Now I'm gonna cut in uh, br uh, chicken breast. This one is uh, uh, too thick, so I'm gonna cut it's a half. cutting half and I'm gonna put some salt and pepper just right and it looks like sea salt We need a little bit of and I'm put it's uh, three eggs here. I'm gonna put some salt too in here and maybe pinch of salt inside the egg. And now it's a uh, egg is ready too. And uh, the most of the time, panko is uh, dry, so I'm gonna put a little bit more uh, water inside here, make uh, uh, this uh, more soft. And what's the water do, honey, when you sprinkle that on the breadcrumbs? Uh, that's to make uh, this uh, crumb is. Uh, so dry, so not uh, put uh, well. It's uh, that's uh, oh, it doesn't stick. Oh, it stick doesn't well. stick well. Okay. Oh, so that's why it's uh, I put water. It's make a little bit more soft, and then stick make a stick well. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. And there is the chicken with the sprinkle of uh, salt and pepper. So now we need to do first. I'm gonna. Put chicken, uh, this uh, the uh, flour like this. Go over, put flour, and then next uh, is egg. And after this, come to. If you use pork and the same thing, just uh, different uh, meat, it's about uh, this um, that's uh, routine is the same thing. <laughs> yeah, the chicken tonkatsu is uh, good. Uh, katsu, uh, it's uh, something that they have uh, in Hawaii, delicious. And then, of course, the pork version I think is uh, more popular in uh, places like Japan. And Korea too. Yeah. <laughs> so 
So basically it looks like flour, dip into the egg, mm -hmm. dip it into the panko breadcrumbs, mm -hmm. and kind of squish it on there. It's a uh, panko more stick, well. <laughs> <laughs> If you want it to make more extra and then put the uh, freezer and then you can use it later too. Yeah, this one's really uh, convenient. You can freeze it, put it into a Ziploc bag and then uh, just uh, eat it in a, a week or two whenever you're uh, ready to cook it up quick for dinner. Looks like one more piece to go. It's last one. Last mm -hmm. one. I made, I put a lot of oil on the pan because uh, this one is uh, not fried, but looks like a fried <laughs> kind of thing. So it's uh, you need uh, more enough, uh, use enough oil. Kind of like you're deep frying in a mm -hmm. skillet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, maybe you put it uh, on medium high heat. It's uh, because that's uh, make uh, more uh, it's uh, cook well and brown in <laughs> color. <laughs> so and one thing is you need to be careful because later it's it's gonna burn easy. But so uh, they need uh, more. Okay, it's starting to really cook now. And you can hear kind of like uh, cooking like deep frying kind of sound in the pan there. Like a rainy sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's always high, you guys need to be careful with this uh, when you turn. Sometimes it's, uh, you can get burned. <laughs> and I know that the uh, piece of chicken are a little thick, so you have to make sure that you uh, cook it enough and mm -hmm. cook it through and through the chicken. Yeah, I just uh, uh, change it to uh, medium heat. So okay. from medium high to medium heat. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the outside is burnt, but inside is not cooked uh, all the way. So, so I just a little bit make a uh, roll, uh, the medium heat, and then uh, more cooked inside. Okay, it looks like the first batch is done. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the first part of round two is already going into the uh, skillet. Yeah, sometimes it's a uh, more thick slice, not cool, it's just uh, the side way. <laughs> kind of do the final touches of cooking on the sides there. Just hold it with the tongues. Mm -hmm. 
There it is. It sure does smell delicious. Here is the uh, katsu sauce. But you can use uh, the tonkatsu sauce uh, for uh, chicken katsu too. So I'm going to throw some. And there's uh, Korean versions like this one here. And there's Japanese versions too. I think even Kikoin makes a uh, katsu sauce as well. Yeah, when you go to this uh, market, you can find the easy. It sounds crispy when you're mm. cutting it. Okay, I'm gonna try. <laughs> Taste test time. Mm. <laughs> Probably a little hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but thumbs up, honey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, honey, I just taste tested it, and uh, like always, it was really, really good. Definitely passes the uh, awesome taste test. Thank you, and I hope you guys enjoy making this uh, chicken katsu. Thank you, thanks for watching.